We've seen a lot of wind across our area for the last couple of days. We're going to see a lot more wind across our area, at least throughout our day on Monday and probably into Tuesday as well. Here's some of those peak wind gusts that we had throughout the day across Hampton Roads. Whew, it was windy, especially across the Outer Banks. Still three different storm systems that I'm watching in the Atlantic Basin right now. We have Beta in the Gulf of Mexico. We have Hurricane Teddy that is in the Atlantic. That storm system is going to miss Bermuda. They're going to get some wind and some rain from that, but they're not going to get a direct hit from that hurricane. And then Wilfred basically fading away. Not much to talk about there. But Teddy is bringing us a lot of wind. It's keeping the wind across our area, and we're going to see that pattern continue following a couple of different things that's going on. So first of all, there's a zone of high pressure basically right here, and then the storm system, the hurricane, even though it's a hurricane, it's essentially an area of low pressure. So around both of those storm systems, the air and the wind is funneling kind of in this zone right here. So that's where we're getting a lot of that wind and the atmosphere over the entire Earth tries to stabilize itself. But there's problems, areas of low pressure, thunderstorms, hurricanes develop and they try to unbalance that equation. High pressures try to help kind of calm things down a bit. Basically, the air is trying to stabilize and it's struggling to do that. So a lot of air has to move one direction. That's where we are. We're in that zone where there's a lot of air moving and there's a lot of wind. So the pattern continues as we go into the next couple of days with our wind and with that storm system. Let me show you what's going on here as we look at our future track. This is the GFS model. Now I can clear out the two different areas that we have for the high and low because those shift. But you can see by Wednesday early morning that storm system is still getting really strong over the North Atlantic. The size of the wind field expands, so we'll continue to see wind at least probably through Wednesday across the area of the strongest days for the wind though will be Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday the wind shouldn't be as strong. That area off to our west, by the way, near Dallas and into Louisiana, that area of rain, that's the remnants of Tropical Storm Beta. We could see some of that rain moving into our area towards the end of next week, so something that we'll want to watch for. But again, that hurricane, that storm system that's over the Atlantic, that Category 2 storm with winds at 105 miles an hour, there's a lot of wind around that storm, and there's also a lot of wind in our area. We'll see that continue. Tidal flooding shouldn't be a major issue across our area anymore, but we still have one more tide that we want to watch. That will be the high tide that we'll see coming up Monday at 1 o'clock for Sewell's Point. Minor tidal flooding expected there, about as high as what we had uh, Saturday during the day, and also Friday, too, we had a high tide there where it was kind of noticeable, but not terrible. So areas in Norfolk will see the tidal flooding, parts of Portsmouth, too. Not horrible, minor tidal flooding, moderate flooding for your Monday afternoon in Jamestown. Kip to Peak shouldn't be a major issue. Duck, North Carolina, and for the Outer Banks, Southern Outer Banks, there will be ocean overwash again following the high tide. Now, the one thing that I'm looking forward to, after all we're done with all these tides and everything and the wind starts to die off is the surf forecast. Could be pretty fun Wednesday with four to five foot waves, maybe Tuesday late in the day too, that's a possibility. But Wednesday is looking quite fun for Virginia Beach. For the Outer Banks, it could be really good coming up on Thursday. So something that we'll have to watch for. Wednesday, it still could be pretty big too. So that's one thing that I'm looking forward to. And if if you have any friends or family members that like to surf, send them a text saying, hey, are you going surfing or not? It'll be fun to see if they're going to go too. I'm sure it'll be busy, but it'll be fun. So we've had a beautiful day, a windy day across our area. I'll show you the sunset. The sun is on the opposite side where the camera's looking, but we can look towards downtown Norfolk. So not a bad view there. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy your week ahead. We'll see a lot of sunshine this week. I'll talk to you later.